Thank you, sir. Mr. Casey wanted to be recognized. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Chair, Ranking Member, colleagues. It's great to be with us here as we remember our late great colleague, uh, Don Young, and I, I certainly embrace everything that has been said about the dean of the house, uh, larger than life personality was used, uh, authenticity, intolerance for division and partisanship for their own sake, uh, certainly passion for <clears throat> Alaska and the house and this committee. And, and yeah, we all have our own stories about uh, Don. I remember one of mine is <clears throat> when I came back to the house uh, and went to reintroduce myself to Mr. Young sitting on the house floor in his accustomed seat. And um, I went up to him all eager to kind of engage him again as a colleague. Um, and um, the seat next to him was empty and I made the mistake of sitting down in that seat. And he said, well, Mr. Case, it's good to see you, but that seat is reserved for Mr. Mast. And I went, oh, excuse me. <laughs> and I <laughs> stood up and commenced my re-engagement with Don Young standing in front of the uh, Dean of the House. Um, you know, I wanted to remember him for a couple of areas that are perhaps a little bit more specific uh, to our part of the world, uh, the part of the world that is, is uh, the, the United States and beyond, west of the continental United States, because uh, there Hawaii and Alaska have, have long uh, shared a common enemy, being the continental United States in many, many ways. Uh, and, um, and there was a special relationship, really, from that perspective. Um, the history of Alaska and Hawaii go back a long way, actually, uh, to pre-statehood when uh, we both um, were up for statehood. It had been 50, almost 50 years since the last state. This is in the 1950s. And there were powerful entrenched interests um, in Congress against both of us becoming states for, for slightly different reasons. But nonetheless, um, in those late 50s, we, we, we um, joined forces and conspired with each other to, to help each other out. And we determined that Alaska uh, had the better chance. Uh, and if Alaska was admitted, uh, Hawaii would be admitted after that. And that's how it went down. Um, <clears throat> Alaska came in <clears throat> in early 1959 and literally two months later with Alaska's vote, Hawaii's Admissions Act was um, passed and we, we came in uh, later. And that um, started a long and very, very productive uh, um, alliance and friendship that has gone on <clears throat> over the course of now three generations between the, the members from Hawaii and Alaska. And, and Don embraced that when he got here only 14 years after uh, statehood. He was always a friend of Hawaii. We were always a friend of Alaska. Um, I actually counted this up, and he was on somewhere in the range of 71 Hawaii-specific bills um, over the years. And certainly, I'm on a number of bills that um, I probably wouldn't be on, but that Don Young asked me to be on those bills uh, for Alaska. And so <clears throat> we just really appreciate uh, his friendship um, and certainly um, look forward to continuing that relationship. Um, I think the second thing that um, I wanted to say, and it's already been referenced, uh, was that he was a true friend of indigenous peoples everywhere. Uh, he understood indigenous peoples. He understood uh, the depths of their of their histories, of their cultures, of their challenges. Um, <clears throat> he, of course, came to this knowledge in Alaska, but he understood that, for example, that embraced uh, the Native Hawaiians, uh, who um, have their own specific challenges, but he took the time to understand that. Um, and certainly, um, through him, I think um, we, uh, being Hawaii and Native Hawaiians and others, came to understand Alaska Natives and to understand that we had uh, the same basic uh, goals, and so um, we re remember him uh, particularly for his, for his, for his championing of those um, um, issues uh, in this committee and beyond. We've really lost a friend from that perspective. And then finally, uh, Don was a true friend of the Pacific. Um, he loved the Pacific. Uh, I don't know where this exactly came from. Uh, he un he certainly was from the Pacific. Of course, Alaska is of the Pacific. Um, he certainly understood um, island peoples and island cultures, um, and he came to uh, an appreciation of the Pacific, of course, because he was a patriot, uh, understood how much blood had been shed in the Second World War, understood that there was an obligation uh, post-Second World War and continuing through today uh, to assist the Pacific in every which way. And so um, in 2019, he joined a number of us on a bipartisan basis to found our, our congressional um, Pacific Islands Caucus, which is a specific uh, to the islands of the Pacific. He was, a, he was an active member of that caucus. In fact, uh, one of the very last um, events that he attended and participated in, which was literally two days before he died, uh, was a, a Pacific Islands Caucus. 
um, <clears throat> uh, presentation of, 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 of an effort uh, led by the East-West Center in, in Honolulu and the U.S. Department of State about uh, the U.S. Pacific matters uh, to why the U.S. matters to the Pacific and why the Pacific Islands matter to the United States. It was a wonderful, wonderful presentation. He charmed everybody in the room. He, he reflected his understanding, his passion, his love of the Pacific. Um, and it was a great person to, to really have on, on, on our team. And so, you know, I joined all of us in, in, in missing the, the, the multi-dimensional sides of this incredible public servant. Um, but we're going to miss him in Hawaii in the Pacific, and we certainly um, look forward uh, to carrying on his legacy uh, beyond. And so, as we say in Hawaii, aloha oi, until we meet again.